uh, this section of Madogo and Maroro ambayo imekatika for the first time as I told you today in the morning this bridge was constructed or that section was constructed in the mid 70s and never has it been affected in the past na hiyo shida imetokana na mvua tu the dams of uh, Masinga Kiambere are not yet full if that will have been uh, the also the happened at the same time when we are receiving the rains your excellency the disaster that will have happened in this region will be much much more than we are experiencing today your excellency garissa nairobi road is the lifeline of this region of northern kenya our government should not accept at any one time the closure or destruction of that section for even a day we had a problem where this road was and uh, we could not repair even the road because of the waters for about two weeks. The airport of Garissa was also closed because of uh, unsurfaceability of the airstrip. Your Excellency, as a government, this is a, a lifeline for the region. It's a security route for the, uh, all the military or security personnel in the region. So the closure of this road has really affected this town. At one point, Your Excellency, this town was under a lot of stress. There was so much panic. People didn't know what will, be the, what will happen next because we were closed off Nairobi uh, Garissa, Na Garissa uh, Mombasa, and Garissa to the rest of Northeastern. Garissa Township is the most affected in the region. It has 16 displaced camps internally displaced camps in Garissa town alone. The township is hardly 40 kilometer uh, distance. But the whole sub-county of Garissa town has been affected. Uh, along the river, Your Excellency, other than the infrastructure that was destroyed, we are a farming community. Garissa a township is not a pastoral community. It's a farming community. And our county or some county of Garissa, the farming activity that used to take place here is also completely destroyed. That means the livelihood of the people of Garissa Township is also completely affected. After this, Your Excellency, after this happens and we settle down, we need another uh, intervention, a deliberate effort from the national government and the donor community to restore the lives and the livelihood of the people of this sub-county who are displaced from their farms and now are living up here. Some of them displaced, some of them went into their relatives and are staying with them. So we need a deliberate effort or plan to support to, uh, this farming community to return us back to our farming activities so that we can go on with our lives. When you or your child is ill at night or day, there is no need to travel to the hospital. Have a face-to-face -face video consultation with a specialist doctor of your choice in the comfort and safety of your home. Get access to experienced, board certified doctors that are available to help you. Invite a family member to join the consultation from anywhere. We will deliver your medicine and collect lab samples from you at home. Don't wait until you're sick. Scan and download now the Quick Health Patient app or visit quickhealthdoctors.com. When you need a doctor, day or night, let us come to you. Quick Health Doctors.